Tim, welcome back to Frank Talk About Sensors. Well, thank you, Frank. It's good to be back, and thank you for having me. Tim, all sensors seems to have rewritten the rules for pressure sensors with its newest low-pressure sensor die. You use piezo-resistive technology, similar to previous approaches, but that seems to be where the similarity ends. That's correct, Randy. Uh, yes, we use silicon piezo-resistive technology, which was fundamentally introduced over 40 years ago, and we do this in a common open bridge configuration. What makes our devices different, though, is a unique topology that brings a host of benefits to the user. How about some details? Well, as much as the piezo-resistive technology is traditional, the processing is generally closely guarded. And this hasn't changed here, so we're keeping this aspect under the hood, so to speak. The topology, though, is a visual difference, which is clearly seen here. And what it does is efficiently focus the available force from the pressure source to the piezo resistors themselves with minimal loss. So what we've managed to do is make a more efficient device. Great. Well, uh, can you elaborate on what makes uh, this pressure sensor uh, different from what's uh, currently available in the market? Uh, sure. By having a more efficient design, we manage higher sensitivities for the available dye surface area, and as a result, we've reduced the dye area to 40% of previous generation devices, or a 60% reduction. All this while maintaining or increasing dye sensitivity. This allows for package size reduction, which, of course, translates to cost reduction and potential market opportunities. It also reduces package stress sensitivity, which improves overall performance. Another benefit of the design is the ability to remove the boss structure that is traditionally used on low-pressure sensor die. This boss structure removal dramatically reduces position sensitivity by 90% over previous generation devices, or 10% of the previous device sensitivity. This dramatically improves performance in portable applications in any application which has uh, vibration as part of its environmental component. An ancillary benefit of this novel topology improves the front-to-back linearity, which translates to improved differential device performance. Interesting. Why do you offer the die with an open-end bridge? Well, an open-end bridge configuration allows for easier implementation of a resistive trip circuit. This is a specific compensation method for making millivolt output pressure sensors. Okay. Can you give us some specifics on the available products and performance? We currently offer four pressure ranges from 5 inch of water full scale to 30 inch of water full scale. The typical full scale output of the devices is 50 millivolts, where the 5 inch of water is typically 40 millivolts. And these outputs are specified at a supply voltage of 2.8 volts. Okay. When I think about uh, all sensors, I typically think about uh, packaged uh, pressure sensor products. Uh, is this all sensors' first offering of a pressure sensor die? That's correct, Randy. All Sensors is known for their leadership in packaged low-pressure sensors, and this is our first offering of a dye product. Interesting. Okay. Well, how do listeners get more information? Well, for more information, customers can contact the factory at area code 408-225-4314 or email requests to info at allsensors.com. Customers can also find more information at our website at www.allsensors.com. Well, that's great, Tim. And, well, that's going to do it for this frank talk about sensors. See you next time.